Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating another package lashing technique. This one looks very nice, at least in my opinion, and it is called the square package lashing. Let's take a closer look at the lashing, then tie one. Here you can see an example of square lashing. As you can see, the lashing covers the edges of the package quite nicely, making it appropriate not only for sending out packages, but also for setting up decorative wraps, for example for gifts. So now, let's make our own lashing. Now for the lashing you're going to need some sort of a package, and you're going to need some sort of a cord or twine. I'm fairly partial to using hemp twine, since in my opinion it is fairly traditional and nice looking. But you can use other types of cordages. Maybe cotton cord, maybe paracord, whatever you have available. Now paracord is also very useful because it is a very strong type of cordage. So in this demonstration I'm going to be using paracord. So to start our lashing we're going to grab our cord. In our left hand we're going to have about a quarter of the length and this is going to be the standing end. So this is going to be the end that we're not going to be using much. The right end is going to be longer and this is going to be the working end. Place your cord like this, so over the package, and using your working end, wrap around it, coming to the left side of the standing end. Like this. We're going to be making a crossing, like this. So this is the standing end and this is the working end. Then travel to the underside of the package. And you can continue simply crossing over this vertical cord. But in my lashings I like to go under this cord. And I'm going to show you why a bit later. So like this. Now back to the top side. So this is the standing hand traveling to the left side. And this is the working hand coming up on the left side as well. Now make another crossing here on the left side and with your working hand start traveling back to the underside and come up here at the bottom. Now at the bottom make another crossing like this and travel back to the underside and come up on the right side, here. And with this we have covered all of the edges of the package. After setting up the initial lashing, we need to finish it up. Usually a reef knot is used. For the reef knot, we have the two strands coming from the left and right side. So the standing hand on the left and the working hand on the right. Place the standing hand up like this and the working hand crossing over it. Then with the working hand wrap around the standing hand, essentially just going bottom up. Then tighten up and place your finger on top just to hold everything in place. 
using your working hand, cross over the standing hand again, then wrap around, bottom up again, and tighten up. And what you get is a reef knot finish. At this point, you can simply trim the ends and you have your lashing completed. Now you can also finish this lashing by adding a bow on it. It is tied pretty much the same as a reef knot, we just slip the ends. So again I have my standing hand coming from the left side and the working hand coming from the right. I place my standing hand facing up and cross over it using my working hand. Then using my working hand I wrap around the standing hand like this, then tighten up and place my finger on top just to make everything secure. Then, using my working hand, I make a bite. Using my standing hand, I also make a bite. Place your working hand bite over the standing hand, so crossing over it, and then, using your working hand bite, wrap around, bottom up, around the standing end and tighten up. And what you get is a bow knot finish. This is a quick release finish so that you can use it to quickly undo the lashing. If we inspect the lashing that we did, you can see that we have a nice lashing at the sides, getting a nice decorative pattern. We finished it up using a reef knot, and at the bottom, we have a pattern of over two here at the top, and under two here at the bottom. You can choose to set up a different pattern at the bottom and it basically just depends on how you work your working hand at the bottom. All in all, this is a functional package lashing. I also wanted to show you a reinforced version of this lashing. This one is a lot more stable and it relies on adding crossing knots onto the bottom of the package. So in this case we again take a piece of cordage. We have about a quarter of our cord in our left hand and this is the standing hand. The working hand is longer and we have it in our right hand. We place our cord over the package like this. Then with our working hand we travel around the bottom and come up on the left side of the standing end. Then we continue by turning our two ends, the standing end towards the left side and the working end towards the right side. Then we travel with our working end to the bottom of the package and where we encounter the horizontal strand we add a crossing knot. For the crossing knot Turn your working hand back up, creating a bite. Then using the working hand, we travel in between the two strands of the bite. Traveling under the horizontal strand, like this, and this creates a crossing knot.
Now slightly tighten it up. And then continue your lashing. So back to the top. Now at the top we have the standing hand traveling to the left side and the working hand coming up on the left side as well. Again, make a crossing here with the working hand traveling towards the top and the standing hand traveling towards the bottom. The working hand travels to the bottom And where we again encounter our chord, we add a crossing knot. So create a bite, then travel in between the two strands using your working hand. Like this, and this adds a second crossing knot. Tighten it up slightly. Then continue by traveling with your working hand towards the top of the package. Like this. Here add another crossing with the standing hand traveling towards the right side and the working hand traveling towards the left side and then to the bottom. And here we're going to add two crossing knots. So the first one here at the top, creating a bite, then going under the horizontal strand, like this. Tighten up the crossing knot a little bit. Then move down and add another crossing knot here. So a bite, then travel in between the two strands of the bite, adding the last fourth crossing knot. Then travel to the top of the package. Here. So we have the standing hand here and then the working hand coming from the right side. We place our working hand over the standing hand, wrap around it like this, tighten up, hold the two ends. Then travel over the standing hand using your working hand and wrap around again. Then tighten up to get a reef knot. So something like this. And this is a much more secure version of the lashing. We have the crossing knots at the bottom, making sure that everything stays put. So guys, with this we came to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope that the lashing will come in handy. See ya next time.